This machine is known as a wood lathe. It turns wood at very high speeds between two centres and is used for creating cylindrical wooden objects such as table legs. The wood lathe is made up of the following parts. The power isolator switch, the speed selection dial that adjusts how fast the material spins, the green on and red off buttons. To start the machine, the red off button will need to be turned to the right and then the green button pressed. To stop the machine, press the red button. The machine can also be stopped with the emergency foot stop. If the emergency foot stop has been pressed, it will need to be gently pulled out again until a click is heard before the machine will start. The headstock. This houses all the gears that adjust the speed of the lathe. The forked centre or butterfly centre that holds one end of the material securely when turning. The saddle or bed of the lathe. The tool post that can be moved along the saddle of the lathe. Pull the tool post locking handle up to loosen and turn the tool post locking handle to the left or right to tighten. Next, depending on the length of material being turned, is the large tool rest and the small tool rest. The height of the tool rest and the gap between the tool rest and the material being turned is very important. To adjust the height of the tool rest, turn the tool rest locking bolt to the left or anti-clockwise to loosen and turn the tool rest locking bolt to the right or clockwise to tighten. Before turning, the tool rest should be adjusted so that when a tool is laid on top of it, the cutting edge of that tool just touches the centre of the forked revolving centre. To help with setting the correct height on these machines, a line has been cut into the tool rest. Adjust so that that line lines up with the top of the tool post. The next part of the machine is known as the tailstock. The tailstock can be adjusted to suit differing lengths of material being turned. To adjust the tailstock, turn the tailstock locking bolt down or clockwise to the right to loosen and up or anti-clockwise to the left to tighten. The second of the two centres on the wood lathe can be found on the tailstock. This machine has a revolving centre on it. The revolving centre can be brought out or back into the tailstock by turning the wheel as shown. The revolving centre can be locked in place using the locking bolt found at the back of the tailstock. Turn to the right or clockwise to lock and tighten and turn to the left or anti-clockwise to unlock and loosen.